Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, Microsoft has issued another update for the Windows recovery environment. And of course, that is the famous update that got very famous for wrong reasons. The one that uh, Microsoft issued in January 2024. A lot of people had that update that just wouldn't install, and it would, you know, people went crazy because it's like, well, you know, I got this error message all the time, and made several videos. They updated that uh, that that you know KB number with a more recent update, and uh, did a few more over the year 2024, including uh, early this year 2025. Uh, but now the um, there's a new version that's been out, and they have actually change strategy so instead of pushing the update directly to windows update as usual the update actually applies when you do a clean install of windows and what happens is that when you do a reinstall of windows it will install that update while doing a clean install on machines that need that recovery uh, partition fixed and the cases where you would have one and of course, uh, they're saying that the reason they apply it there, it's, well, going to look at what's happening. And if it doesn't install or if it can't install because you don't have a recovery environment or the proper space in the partition, uh, it's just going to let, you know, remove itself and let the rest of the operating system update itself and install on the PC. So they're saying it's kind of a better way to do it, um, even though you can still in a managed system get the updates from the um, Microsoft Update catalog. They are available there. And uh, you can also, of course, some people do what we call a streamline of the uh, image, the ISO image, which um, basically updates the image with the latest updates possible. So that when you install, instead of downloading updates from the internet, it actually already has all of the updates within the install package. But uh, whatever happens, it seems like this new way of dealing with that update is going to be uh, a better way. And uh, as they're calling it, it's, it's a dynamic update, as they're calling it. So uh, hopefully those problems will be of the past because, man, people had so much issues with that recovery environment update and uh, both on Windows 10 and also on Windows 11 uh, if you just didn't have enough space for the recovery partition. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.